Hey guys, um, it's 9, 10, 23 at 7.40 in the morning. I got some words that um, for me are a little difficult to put out. Um, I was awakened with these words and they were ringing like, wake up, you gotta write this down. So um, I personally find this heavy and I also find it humbling and embarrassing to be honest with you. So um, I want you to understand a few things before I um, share the words. Um, first, I don't have any negative feelings about anyone. Um, there's a few people that, you know, if I were in charge of the world, I'd probably throw them on a bus and, you know, get them out of my area. But in general, I really think that everyone that I have interacted with on YouTube is, like I always say, oh, I have the best subscribers because God has separated out the people that are not um, very kind. And I generally see almost none of those comments. I, they just disappear. I don't know where they go. So um, the rude stuff I'm just kind of like um, spared from. Um, so also understand that like I have, I just don't think about it. I put my video out, I run off and do the next thing because I my day is so busy. So I don't really think about whatever I put up there or whatever. I just respond as I can and whatever. So I don't have like, I had no harboring thoughts in my mind before I went to bed or anything like that. This is something that the Lord is fiercely upset with that I have, I, I was actually very surprised to hear these words because I don't hear the negative comments and I um, also don't have those feelings towards people. So he is standing in my corner because apparently there are people who are not uh, doing what they should be doing. Um, I also want to tell you that I'm very grateful because I think most of you are very supportive and praying for me and encouraging. So the people I do get to interact with are probably, you know, the cream of the crop. I don't know. Um, Anyway, so this is um, about me and about interacting with the end times and stuff like that. And then there's a little bit that God is chastising some people that I don't even know who they are. So um, take that for what it's worth. But in obedience, I'm passing this along. Um, this also does put a red dot on my forehead in public, uh, meaning like a laser light, like now I'm a target. So I um, understand that we have got to be pretty close in order for me to be a public target, okay? So this says, my leader, rejoice. The United States has raised a leader who is set to lead for eternity. The day she goes is a new day. The first leader of modern times for eternity. Julie, the one before you, will lead in heaven with the heroes of the faith in the eternal system. Rejoice, you see a mild woman. I see a royal warrior that fights with power in the spirit. I see one with royal blood that goes back to David and Benjamin. This leader is my pick. The day she leaves, it will be a new holy holiday for the ages. No one on earth knows these things. Not her or her family have had the knowledge until late that she holds the royal blood from the first and the last tribes. She will lead. She will ha she will lead. She will have a council hand selected. I will guide her. The events to come are in her hands and my hands. This is why she goes first to show the world. This is why her testings have been much stronger than others in her generation. The enemy knows her royal lineage. They have been aiming at her since she was young because of her royal lineage. She has always fought with radical efforts and builds in her abilities to fight. She does not know the depths of what this means. I have of yet only given her glimpses of her next life. She holds the view that she lives here until that changes. She stays focused on the here and now. This is wise. The fight is real. 
but part of her does not have the ability to understand who she is in me, not until she comes before me for her completions and transformation. She always felt different than other people. She just assumed this was because she was a Christian in a secular culture or because her body does not function normally. The truth is she is different. The first with these two royal bloodlines to also seek me first in the way I require, not in man's way. For the leadership of the end, I was waiting on this. One on the earth that would hear me and not man and understand the secrets in scripture that I have laid bare. One who stayed faithful and responded through many difficulties, how I said in scripture. One who loves isolation and people. One who aches to see how broken the church is. One who fights with my power. One with compassion and love, but balanced with justice and righteousness. She is humble and yet bold. She is learned and yet eager to learn. She is tactful and frank. She sees the big picture, but loves the details. I have had to give her many clues, dreams, and words to slowly convince her that she is indeed royal in heaven's leadership system. It is hard to see from earth. This is your leader, the leader to bring in the church. She will come to me and be fully trained and briefed. She will come with me for strategy and methods. I have seen the end she does not lose. Those who have been with her for a long time, her initial encouragers that I needed to keep her uploading dreams so that when the time came, she would speak my words of the end. You, the original encouragers, will have special blessings in heaven for noticing and encouraging my leader. There are many I use for many plans. But the one before you is to begin the new thing I do publicly. Her royal blood makes her worthy. Her faithfulness to me makes her worthy. When she follows me in faith and shows how the Holy Spirit can work through a mere human, then you will have the full understanding of why we will rock the world with the Holy Spirit. Hearts will turn. When it is your turn to hear me, Consider the faith of the one before you. She has been following me in faith every day for a lifetime. Why? She knew not of her royal status. She had no idea of her role in the end times. She had no desire to be in the public eye. Why would she respond with radical faith, especially in a time that a rare one knew to hear me? Why would she trade her privacy and time to make videos to share dreams? Why would she homeschool when none she knew did such a thing? Why would she take large risks of agreeing to move so many times? Because she seeks me and obeys my advice and directives. She can testify that following me can hold some mysteries and unanswered questions. Why? Because I need to check and build your faith. I see your potential. Just as I know Julie's future in heaven, I know yours. But I need you to trust me because you are ready to receive it. Why do I tell you of this child's future and royal status? I see hearts. Some are glad not to lead. Others covet this in their immaturity and lack of wisdom. Not everyone is eligible to lead. Not everyone has the double royal bloodline. Not everyone has a track record of faithful life in me. Not everyone has the ability to fight as fierce in the spiritual realm. No one sees what I see. Each of you are very special and have very fascinating things to learn of yourselves when you come here. Those are to be revealed in time. It is very rare that a human knows any of this before their days have ended on the earth. I continually say, trust me, have full faith. There are mysteries you cannot see. Very few of you will interact with or know well Julie in heaven. You may report to her in the rescues, but that is not the same. The anointed will train with her 
but because of her royal status and responsibilities, she will not be accessible by most unless she sees fit, unless she invites, unless she allows. I see some who have hearts not pure. They seek to challenge her, believing they know more. They make comments I do not allow her to see. Woe to you. I see all, even though she does not. How do you think I see your heart for my royal choice to lead the end? Your heart toward my royal leader? Repent or suffer the consequences. I do not tolerate disrespect to my leaders. It is my plan to use her in this way at this time. She has no desire to be in the public eye. It is her gracious obedience and sacrifice of her time to give you all of this information. I could do it differently. I could have not given out the truth, just spoken to you without warning to see who hears. I could have had all of you go through the times of sorrows without warning and see who had faith after. But I love you and I have compassion. I seek to prepare my lovely church and I work through people. This has always been the case. Read it in my book. If you do not hear my words from this woman, then you do not know me. You should know that she takes many spiritual attacks on your behalf. She battles on your behalf in ways you could not know. Why? Because I asked her to put out my words and she did so in faith. This drew the attack of the enemy. They heard her words and knew something was different, just as many of you have understood. They heard the holiness and the stature in her tone. This set them loose to attack her for new reasons. These were battles hard fought. But at this point, she has mastered skills to take them out rapidly by employing my full power toward them. When you come, you will be shown what I have seen and you will understand. From your perspective, understand this. Faith in me includes faith in who I choose. When Julie begins the worldwide revolution, know that very soon, mere months, and you will be here with me. Recall that the Holy Spirit's power will fall successively on each group. Do not fret. When I speak, hear and obey in faith. Recall man's methods will not work in these times. Only my directives will give the desired results. Work together as a team, church. No coveting, no superiority. Share, love, get along. This is our difference from the world. Encourage one another and build each other up. I am God. I do not fail. By hearing me and following, you will be safe and provided for and protected hear me change comes rapidly pray for your leader pray for yourselves have convinced faith in me that i will do as i say be at peace and found in obedience so that's a little awkward for me to share that with you but i was told it was necessary so um I guess pretty soon we're going to see some cool stuff <laughs> and I'll see you next time because I'm sure this isn't the last.